Hey! <laughs> Over here! <laughs> oh shit, you actually came! <laughs> oh, come here! Mm. Oh, I've been way too long. Oh, you've grown a lot too. <laughs> I hate the fact that you're that much taller than me. Dude, oh, we need to catch up. How have you been? What's new in your life? Give me all the details. Hmm. Huh? You actually, you know what? Before you continue, let's grab some food real quick. I went past an ice cream truck before coming over here. It's just down the street. Plus, it's really fucking hot out here, don't you think? <laughs> awesome. Right. However, on one condition, I get to pick out the flavors. Come on, my, <laughs> my taste in ice cream isn't that bad. So don't worry. <laughs> Actually, maybe worry a little bit, because I might just get the worst flavour to spite you. <laughs> How mean of me. <laughs> See, there it is. Alrighty. Time to be social. <clears throat> Hello there. I'd like uh, two two scoop ice creams, please. One that has honeycomb and sweet cream, then the other. Hmm. Uh. Anyway, I'll be kind. A uh, butterscotch and salty caramel, please. Pay by cash, please. Hey, got it? That should be enough. There we go. Awesome, thank you. Dude, trust me. Butterscotch and salted caramel is heavenly. You have to trust me. Just don't knock it till you try it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Here you go, hun. Alright, continue. I'm all ears. Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. I have quite a few questions about those people. <laughs> Do you still talk to the other friends you had before? Hmm. Okay. And how's studying then? What are you trying to be now? Hmm. Hey, I'm sure if you try hard enough, you'll get mad. I believe in you, okay? Dude, honeycomb is fucking amazing. I'm getting distracted, sorry. Hold <laughs> I wish I was here for a lot of this stuff. But hey, it seems like you've got your life set at least. I'm really proud of you. Again, I wish I was here for you more, but I went to the military instead. Oh, well, it was... Well, I'd be lying if I said it was all sunshine and rainbows. But there's a bench over there. How about we just, you know, sit down? <laughs> I'd rather be under the shade right now. Life is 
really strange. It was pouring it down with rain yesterday and now it's too damn hot. God, what do I start? They are uh, really strict down there. A lot of the time, the stuff is very intense as well. Sometimes we can actually have a good little laugh with each other after the training or, you know, when we're on break. <sighs> Those times are the best. Made some pretty good friends who really made my day better and actually kept me going. He had quite a bit of free time after work, actually. At first I was very antisocial, but... Dude, those people... They're fucking interesting. Hey, not as interesting as you, though. Yeah, I've still got it. <laughs> Training during the first few weeks. <sighs> My fucking body fell apart. I was in constant physical pain, but eventually you get used to it, you know? But fuck does it hurt. Accommodations are pretty good. Uh, shared rooms. Uh, I always was, I was, I was always the first to sleep. So, I was never woken up by like loud snorers. <laughs> the wonders of being a deep sleeper. Food was pretty good there too. <sighs> Later down the line, I began to do weapons training, uh, helping people who had difficulties in aiming, or you know, like, you know, didn't know what to do during a uh, combat situation. Just making sure they can actually keep their lives by knowing what the fuck to do when they hold a gun, if they're in a situation like that. One thing that really does fuck with me, though, is... All of them there, I... I don't know if I'll ever see them again. Maybe they'll leave too, or they'll... Get themselves killed, or... Something. I don't know. I have faith in them, but... It's just the fact that there's a chance I won't and see them again, it just bothers me, and... The fact that I might not even know what the fuck happened to them, it's... really scary. I... It's been bothering me for quite a while. The people who I trained, I... questioned if... I'll ever see them again. I'd be responsible for not helping them enough, wouldn't I? Oh, fuck, dude. I just can't fucking wrap my head up. Oh. Oh. Mm. Thank you. Mm. I needed that. <sighs> Do you mind if I just... Stay here for a minute. <sighs> Thank you. Sorry for killing the mood. <laughs> Let's try lighting it up a bit, alright? And I know just the topic. Your relationship status. <laughs> I'm guaranteeing that you're still single right now. <gasps> no way. <laughs> Online girlfriends don't count. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> What's her name? So, you guys are talking? Is it official? Lillian what? Oh. Huh. What's 
what's she like? Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. I mean, sure, it seems quite flattering, but be careful, dude. You can't stick your dick in crazy. That's how you get it chopped off. <laughs> I'm happy for you, though. If you think that she's the one, then... <laughs> Good on you. <sighs> Alright. It's been really nice catching up with you. You still have my number, right? Yeah, it's the same one I used before leaving. I'll shoot you a text when I get home, Mr. Popular. <laughs> I have to see my sister when she comes back from work. She's gonna, yeah, watch a movie with her or something. Hmm. How about we go to the movie virtually next time? Or watch the stars or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but hey, there's a lot of shit to do in the city, so... I'm sure we can plan something, hmm? Alright. I'm gonna get moving. It's not too far from here, so I should be there the next 15 minutes or so. Take care of yourself, dude. Tell Lily and I said hi. I'm sure she's wonderful and maybe you'll get married someday. Or maybe, I don't know, she'll chop you up. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Take care of yourself though. I know I said that, but dude, it's been awesome talking to you again. <laughs> Bye. Holy shit, is that a fucking cat?